stuff but kids eat a lot guys now they're gonna be home all day just eating like kids eat as if they pay rent Welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution because you're not gonna die okay it's not gonna cost you before I get started give this video a thumbs up and then let's get into it also guys we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers right now we are on 1,800 subscribers so guys 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 listen 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 guys like March can't end without getting these 2,000 subscribers, okay? So, subscribe and get everybody that you know to subscribe because this is a joint effort thing. Look at this piece of hair just like sticking out for no reason. Also, I wanna show you my hoodie. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, I was gonna step on a chair but I don't even need to. Okay, can you see it? It says, faith over fear. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> faith over fear and I think that's exactly what we need in this time by the way if you haven't guessed today we're gonna be speaking about coronavirus I'm gonna give some facts about how we can help deal with it as a people and stuff like that and I also want to talk about how it's affected my life and those around me and how it's affected some of you guys quick disclaimer I'm not a medical professional I'm not a nursing major accountant here <laughs> The information that I'm giving you is based on some research that I did, okay? Research that we're all able to do. As you guys have all seen in the news, there's been an outbreak of coronavirus. We are now at pandemic state in countries all over the world. And in my life, I have never lived through something like this before. It's so interesting to think that we are living in history right now. I mean, it's not a good thing, of course, like, you know, but this is history this is going in the books this is something that happened and then and, and people are going to study about it in later years and they'll be like oh wow that happened and we are the people that lived through it can i also just say that 2020 has been a long 20 years like this one year has been a long 20 freaking years and it's only march it is freaking march anyway back to coronavirus I'm sure we've all seen that the coronavirus is spread among so many countries. I know like when it started, right, like when we started reading about the coronavirus, at first people were like, oh, it's only for white people, you know, black people don't get it. But surprise, mother Nobody is immune. Because we thought it wasn't real, we thought black people couldn't get it, and then boom, all these basketball players started getting it. Idris Elba got it, y'all. No, God, please, no, no. Idris Elba. Idris Elba got it and can we talk about how in the video he made talking about it his wife was hanging up on his shoulder like she's trying to get it too like he he said that she didn't get tested yet but she was on him like he's trying to get some like she, good girl can you social distancing please like I don't know maybe it's a marriage thing maybe it's a couple's thing is the whole marriage thing you know till death do you part does that mean you also have to stand it on and get it does that mean can you like honestly honestly I think if I had a partner and we lived together or a husband or whatever and he gets the coronavirus I'm sorry but you gonna have to move out my man Bruh. one of us got to go okay I'm sorry it's just how it's gonna be like shoot who am I to get in the way of God's plan for your life don't, don't try to Please, who has ever battled with God and won? Like, I'm sorry, I just, I can't get in the way of what God has in store for you. So one of us gonna have to go, rock, paper, scissors, calls it. The thing about the coronavirus is, so younger people are less likely to have it unless your immune system is compromised for whatever reason. So if you're already sick, if, then you're more likely to get it and actually, you know, suffer from it. But so, but for the average person, the young person may be a carrier, but it won't necessarily like kill you or, you know, you won't suffer from it severely. So personally, I mean, I like staying inside. I like staying by myself. I like minding my business. So I wasn't going anywhere anyway. But something that is important to consider is that, and this teaches an important life lesson, that life is not just about you. Life is not about only how things affect you, but it's about how you affect other people and how 
and what you can do for other people because life is not just about you it's about we so even though young people can have it be carriers of it and not suffer severely or not suffer from it you can be in a room with someone who is compromised some of us have grandparents I don't have grandparents but some of us have grandparents some of us have older parents or whatever it is that we do and we're in contact with older people and so it's not about whether or not you can get sick but it's about how you being around those people can actually affect them I won't even lie it seems like the youth has not really taken this seriously. I'm gonna insert a clip of people in SA after they announced that there would be no more schools. And people were out there in the masses, like a number of them in the streets dancing, cheering, Corona, Corona. Of course, it had to be freaking South Africa. Who else could it freaking be? You guys realize you're in the streets celebrating a disease that is killing numbers of people all over the world and they told you to practice social distancing groups no more than freaking a hundred in some places 10 and y'all are just out in the streets dancing cheering corona sharing all that corona and yes you may not die from it but what about some of you who are now going home to your family and to your parents and now you're gonna go and expose them to it and they might not survive it so guys, let's practice social distancing. Some of you need to stay home. Some of you need to study. Some of you need a break. Some of y'all are too broke to be living the way you live in any way. And this is a blessing from God. Give each other space. Space. Don't be like this. Don't be this close. It's not necessary. Now I gotta wipe my camera because I'm breathing on it. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, now focus on me. There we go, darling. So please wash your hands. I don't know why this is like, first of all, washing your hands should be a norm. From what I've been reading, you can sing the ABC, you can sing happy birthday, but the point is you need to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, more if you want to, but a minimum of 20 seconds. Y'all should have been washing your hands this whole time. I don't know why this is news to you. That's why you shouldn't shake anybody's hand. That's why now we gotta do the shoulder. Uh, 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 uh. Elbow greeting rather. <laughs> rather than shaking hands. When you're coughing or sneezing, not like hit you or ah, 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 but hit you. You know, you gotta like dab into it, really like, chew, hit you. Like sneeze into your elbow. And then I'm thinking like you sneeze into your elbow, greeting people with this elbow, like I don't know how that's gonna turn out. If it's not an elbow greeting, honestly, y'all can just like, you know like how the, the politicians greet, or not even how they greet, like how they acknowledge and how they say thank you. Like, <laughs> so y'all could just do it like that the other day I went grocery shopping and it was crazy I went to Walmart right and the water was sold out there was no water left I went to giant and only the expensive water was left either expensive water or the nasty tasting water was left and nothing else that is freaking crazy people are lo losing their minds there is no toilet paper in sight people are buying up all the freaking toilet paper as if as if they come from a family of 15 and everybody in that family has freaking diarrhea constantly like chronic diarrhea type vibes that's how people are buying toilet paper like are you guys gonna be eating this toilet paper bruh what, what are you doing with it like what what like the new way to flex now in 2020 is with toilet paper bro like you just it's not even cash anymore it's just it's, it's, it's toilet paper another thing is back to the whole thing of life is not just about you and we need to help each other and protect each other please buy in accordance to your need it honestly feels like we're in the middle of the apocalypse right now or something like that which is crazy because seeing everything that's happening and how people are reacting makes me think that if this gets worse or if we ever find ourselves in a situation where like times are tough and food is running like people would no doubt kill each other for soap kill each other for toilet paper kill each other like it's crazy guys you think people are good until something happens that requires them to choose being good being good is the more difficult thing to do 
then you shall see flames but anyway guys please consider other people when you're buying please don't fight other people in the store for toilet paper also consider old people I know that there are a lot of old people who are living by themselves who are now struggling to go grocery shopping because they're now compromised if you see old people in parking lots try to see if you can help them do their shopping for them reach out to older people that you know who live by themselves and see if you can help them in this time guys it's not just about you the only way as people we're gonna survive is by working together and by helping each other to the whole shopping thing Yo, guys, clean your cart. I'm gonna insert this video of this man. I don't know if it was in, now in the corona time or beforehand, but this is nasty. Hold on, I'm gonna play this right now. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. That is nasty. Like, now, that's honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I never cleaned a cart before until now so before when i go shopping i always just take a card and push it but now since i don't even know when this was happening i'm like damn i should have been cleaning cards the whole time when i went shopping I, I, that's disgusting people are gross but yeah make sure that you clean your shopping cart before you use it sanitize it super well get the you should even get the bottom guys like just try like stay safe you know as much as it's our responsibility and we gotta work together there are people who don't care there are people who are evil there are people who are wicked and they're gonna try get other people so, sick to how coronavirus has affected my life you know guys it's crazy right now because y'all know i'm studying in america i'm an international student i'm south african so now it's such it's so weird honestly seeing there be like a world crisis and stuff and and travel bans are happening i mean the U south africa has recently banned people from um the usa from coming into the country and like he's yeah and i believe because i'm a citizen i'll be able to go back but the question is if i go back when it's time to come back will they will america let me back in you know so there are those kinds of concerns you know um and another thing is like when all this stuff is happening and you're away from your family like it sucks you know you would pr i would prefer to be with my family in this time you know because i feel safe i would feel protected and also i just knowing that they're okay and they know that i'm okay because right now my mom is just, like my mom calls me like about 15 times <laughs> a day love you mom but um <laughs> You know, your whole family is worried and like when, when other people are worried, it brings worry onto you. I know that people are being kicked out of schools, you know, which is really unfortunate um, because there are international students like myself who have to find a place to stay. I was not kicked out of the school. My school did not kick people out. But I know some people are saying, some schools are saying that you have to leave. And even if it's just, if, even if it's not just international students, there are students who live far from where their uni is in different states and different provinces who now have to find a way to pack up and leave. And that is expensive and that is stressful. Let me know if you guys have been kicked out of where you stay or your schools or whatever and how you've been dealing with that. How much did it cost you and stuff like that so schools are closed and yes that is so great for the kids the kids are gonna enjoy they're gonna live life but kids eat a lot guys now they're gonna be home all day just eating like kids eat as if they pay rent can we talk so about the that? most important thing that I have been doing is <laughs> faith over faith wait faith over fear the most important thing that I have been doing is praying I've been praying, I've been reading the Bible, trying to get closer to God. Why? Because honestly, God is my strength, my hope, the pillar that holds my life. My hope and my faith is not in doctors, is not in presidents, is not in anything or anyone. My hope is in God because I know that God will protect me. You know, he will bless my going out and my coming in. He will keep me and preserve me. And he said, worry about nothing and pray about everything there's this verse that's been ringing in my head that says be still and know that i am god do not fear do not fear do not fear do not fear because right now some churches most churches are closed but god is not closed god has been open the whole time just because church is closed doesn't mean your communication line with god is closed the name of god is above every other name so what does this mean that means the name of god the name of jesus is above coronavirus because that's a name you know the coronavirus is then is a name of a virus and the name of Jesus the name of God is greater than that name call upon the name and be saved call upon the name and be delivered God is the healer God never said that um well I can heal a cold I can heal a broken arm don't do viruses though not my ah uh, not my field of work 
he's the healer guys he heals everything and nothing is impossible to God he is the God of impossibilities so the point I'm trying to make is lean on God right now and not on your own understanding by the way God helps those who help themselves so yes rely on God and know and understand that God will save you and protect you but that doesn't mean be reckless that doesn't mean you shouldn't wash your hands that doesn't mean you shouldn't take physical steps to protect yourself on a very serious note guys I'm about to end of this video but I'm praying and may none of us lose family members as a result of this virus may none of us lose our lives as a result of this virus may we not lose our friends our loved ones our lovers as a result of this virus and we need to pray for all these people that's it for today guys I hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and I will be back with more videos comment down below about how this coronavirus has affected your life and what steps you have taken to protect yourself and others and how you're coping in this time peace and love guys